hello everyone so here I'm with new video and in this video I will be playing a maneuvers training battle battle map will be the lost road both players rank 9 so three barracks infantry training for faster infantry production then scouting for resource collection okay going well so far okay second container third one okay and fourth fifth container okay this is the sixth number and seven okay so seven container I have found so far yeah, and that's uh, more than half of the containers of the map so being resistance is advantageous in terms of resource collection and then I will be trying to hold the flag since they provide additional resources that will help out in development okay and then I'm for now I'm uh, taking control of the two flags and at the upper flag the enemy assault infantry took over and I will be uh, trying to uh, take it back later on okay and I'm yet to be uh, scouting the enemy base okay so he's uh, focusing on the flags that's the wise decision he's going uh, with a good number of assault infantries so I need to gather some riflemen as well as coyotes uh, to uh, pre uh, prevent the flags to be taken by him since the flags uh, gives additional resources so I need to keep my dominance on the flag for extra resource income okay gaining control over the flags once again okay good so far here And going with a uh, full rifleman and coyotes for now since uh, if uh, I capture the flags then this will give me additional resource income and also this unit co will come in handy if I go for any land attack so one fortress versus uh, six riflemen and just two of them no just one of them survived one of them just only one of them survived despite uh, getting extra attack power from the flags and also common defense boost uh, at the first 10 minute that means 30 percent more additional attack power so that's how powerful fortress is and my rifleman is maxed upgraded for uh, its rank rank 9 so i'm going for a rush attack Since I uh, have ca uh, control over all the flags, so I think a rush attack uh, would be good. He will be totally focused on defending the base and I will be continue getting extra resources from the flags. But here he's uh, being a bit troublesome with the fortress. You saw how uh, strong a fortress really is. And he's again giving me trouble with this fortress without gathering units I cannot uh, just beat them they have uh, type 3 armor which are not uh, very much friendly for the infantry infantry uh, having a hard time in taking care of type 3 armor and so uh, due to the fortress he managed to uh, repel my attack okay but I still have a few units at the middle and I will be still trying to keep my dominance over the flags and uh, the fortress might come out once again let's see uh, attempting to scout but this will uh, go in vain so let this infantry hide for a while so for now he has only assaults and fortress uh, after getting less resources uh, after and immediately going for massive production that means 
uh, he does not have uh, should not have anything else except an assault and fortress so I'm now adding armadillos and porcupines with my units as well since riflemen are having a very hard time dealing with them so I will use these vehicles to take down the fortress so that uh, the uh, riflemen can have a Uh, the rifle so that the rifleman can take down the fortress without any obstacle okay so here the upper flag is gonna be going to be taken over by the enemy once again and since some units are there that means the base should not have a uh, much units uh, some fortress are already there so I will try making an attack since I also have my headquarter level 2 max command points let's see but he did not uh, make the mistake by keeping his base defenseless okay and he's uh, sending back the units of the flag and uh, this attack totally did uh, repel this attack is totally a failure okay you see the fortress again troubling my riflemen okay and I will be trying to take over the flags where while attacking since my attack is going to fail anyway and common production to compensate the loss of the units and for faster unit production And I will be adding a bit, uh, grand num a few number of grenadiers since there are uh, just two large number of fortress and also hammers are also being added. So I might not be able to take down these units like that. I need to use the armadillos to take uh, to eliminate the fortress first so that my riflemen could do a thing okay so I managed to distract the fortress successfully but there are also more units coming and I um, probably might not be able to take care of them so I'm just uh, falling back and chasing for another flag leaving the middle one okay then unit production since he has a lot of units uh, there might be possibility of being attacked at my base so I need a good protection and I added sniper towers two sniper towers already this will help me out in defending since assault infantries are much stronger than riflemen so I also need to take help from the sniper towers and more sniper tower will be going through production Okay, if you factory for hawks. So I'm uh, just wishing him to make an attack towards my base so that I can use this uh, sniper towers as well. And if I manage to eliminate his, all his rem uh, land units, then I will be able to gain control over the flags once again. Okay one hammer okay I need to defend both sides okay now this time their full unit attack is coming okay uh, since the entrance is narrow for him so it's advantageous and also my sniper towers are being able to hit so I'm taking help from the sniper towers as well this will enhance my chances of uh, repelling the attack
okay so a little internet crisis here okay again common production successfully managed to repel the attack anyway so now I will be gathering a bit more number of units and try to recapture the middle flag once again and I'm just about to get hawks so it will be easy to gather the flags okay just one fortress let's see how many units it take down uh, it did not take, take down any single infantry not even one okay going good uh, so far since I have Hawks then now I will be going for air attack as well as land attack okay so no resistance in any flags they're all left wide open one infantry here definitely it was for scouting going for more hawks and as well as initiating the attack with hawks i will be going for attack right now okay another again wrong, i tap on the wrong boost button and then switching into supply boost to keep my resource income intact Okay, Fortress trying to take control of here once again, but this time it won't work since I have Hawks. And now I'm def I have definitely cornered him. He does have uh, insufficient number of supply center, just three supply center. He had four, I destroyed one, and I had five supply center from very early of the game. And that's because of gathering more containers. So he uh, just went for a rush unit production with less resource income. Uh, that's why he was able to withstand my rush attack. However, let's see. Going for vertex. Okay. It's not a bad idea to go for vertex, but here uh, it is clearly visible that the base is defenseless against land attacks no land units so that's a big mistake and since he's keeping his base so much vulnerable there is no need for me to hold back anymore i will be attacking immediately okay here the attack comes So he was thinking about taking down all my land units with using vertex but did not prepare sufficient defense after his units were destroyed he did not focus on unit production okay so his base is uh, cracked some part i will be taking care of all the buildings soon very soon okay Okay, so this will be the end for this battle.